Internet's how we doing tonight. Once again, it's your old hero host, good guy Sherman. I'm back with the basement protagonist crew. Will Fresh, what's it up? What up, though? How we doing tonight? What's good? What's happening? Can't complain. Can't complain. Internet, this is a obviously, I don't want to call it a special episode. We're kind of riding a bandwagon, man. Um, the Will Smith and Jada thing. We obviously we got to talk about it. It was such a crazy night, such a crazy experience. Uh, there's levels and depths that I don't. I wonder if the internet's reached that you know we've expounded on and we want to share with y'all. So I'm gonna ask Fresh to go ahead and kick that intro, and we're gonna get it started. All right. So I'll preface it like this. Regardless of how you feel, what you say, at the end of the day, Will Smith was wrong to assault another human being. So there will be no qualms about that. I think we're all in agreement with that one. Right, guys? Oh, for sure. Depends on what rules we use. And on that note, we're going to kick it off since Mr. Uh, what did the hand say to the face fresh clearly does not agree with, you know, violence what what was it for you that thinks that you believe that it was justified for him to do what he did well just for clarification i don't think uh it was justified in a sense but i understand like um for x amount of years the man has been uh trampled on his reputation sullied um whether it's the things that go between him and his uh wife um private things that remain public and um supposedly you know what i'm saying the previous award show um the homie rock uh sent a couple shots at him previously you know what i mean so like it felt like the the straw that broke the camel's back uh and like he had to let everybody know like yo i'm not to be fucked with Sometimes yeah but i mean that, do that but in 2000 what was it 2016 he essentially said that jada was boycotting the show and he was basically saying that she wasn't invited anyway so I mean, that's truth. You know what I'm saying? It's it's harsh, but it's truth. So you won't be missed. You're not you're not up for no uh, awards. I mean, let's be honest. Jada is a, a C-lister at best. You know what I'm saying? I can't really think of anything she's really been in. Um, I think the last thing I seen her on TV, she was uh, supposed to be on, uh, on the Equalizer with Queen Latifah. So I mean, she I mean, was in Matrix. I mean, she was in the Matrix, but recently she was in the Equalizer with Queen Latifah. I mean, like you dating a megastar. And for me, I think the, the, the biggest issue for her is her ego and not wanting to be the wife she wants to have. She want to have that luster. She's jealous of her husband. I think that's where the issue is. God, could you expound on that a little bit and how that relates to Chris, uh, Will Smith, her husband, attacking Chris Rock? Is he, you, I mean, you, I mean, so so base. I mean, it's, it's 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 essentially. I feel she's jealous of her husband and his success, and she wants to be viewed as a peer and an equal. She wants to have the accomplishments he has, and she pulls him into her into her uh her world with this like this red table talk just to kind of boost her her star a little bit you know what i'm saying um and you know she's willing to expose secrets from you know what they do in their bedroom and you know whatever to gain more notoriety instead of just being his wife and just playing the background she's you know she wants to be she wants to be the star. She's jealous of his success, I feel. So she wound this guy up. And, you know, we all saw that he clearly laughed. He thought it was funny. And, I mean, for me, it's, it was not even in Will Smith's character to one, get up there and go slap a man. And then when he sat down and then he dropped those two f-bombs he looked like he was acting dude it just it's it's painful for me to watch it. i'm like dude you this is not in your character at all i mean what's more in his wheelhouse to do is get up there and go crack a joke with or against chris rock and then tell him don't say that don't talk about my wife you know what i'm saying i feel like that's more the Will Smith approach, you know what I'm saying? Go up there, 
crack some jokes, go with him, go at him a little bit on the mic, and then tell him don't talk about my don't talk about my damn wife. You know what I'm saying? And then go sit your ass down. But for him to be trying to be baby Tupac, it just he didn't look right. He looked like he was he was fronting. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't look real, man. I didn't I didn't it's, I can't even watch it because it was just a bad performance. <laughs> um so I mean so as a professional actor, I don't none of us know this man, what kind of character. I we don't know. He might be smacking up the gardener or something every week every week. I, we just don't know. He, Will Smith has always been the ultimate good guy, black guy. But I would never put anything past the black man in America. You know what I'm saying? The stuff we have to deal with and the pressures we're under. Um, well, my take is, and I don't, I don't, I got a little bit of that Jada guard dog thing, but I'm not going to place as much blame as that on you, on her as you did, because Jada's been her own person, her own life, and she's moved how she's moved unapologetically. So, th- again, this, we, who knows if Will's really her guard dog out in the real world? You know what I'm saying? So maybe this is a reflection of something. Th- no one in the world saw publicly maybe chris rock did maybe chris rock didn't at the end of the day uh i will say it was disappointing to see a black man assault another black man on tv um it had no repercussions for it i mean but there, there's you don't know yet but yeah well at the end of the day will won. so you, even if they take the award you can't take the award you know what i'm saying um you, you know so I, I don't know what a real reco- repercussion will be. Chris Rock is impressing charges. He's going to keep it moving. Will's going to keep it moving. But there's that in lies my point. I think it was something. Will's not going to. I think that was totally in character for him, but only in character for him if he knows you personally. So there is perhaps a chance, a good chance, him and Chris Rock has something personal going on. And just like if, you know, if you're getting roasted on a schoolyard, if the wrong kid starts laughing, that's problematic you know what i'm saying like yo i'm not gonna take that everybody can laugh but this kid you know what i'm saying now you could honestly call that somewhat of a sucker move but maybe that's what it was um God yeah bless but you know that's 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 but that's that's kind of go back to how like we talk to each other we've been knowing each other over 20 years and there's a way black people talk to each other amongst ourselves the, the conscious ones versus how we talk to each other in one in front of other people and especially people of other cultures. We talk to each other differently, those who are, and then we, we, we remain on code. And, and when then, somebody's not on code, hmm. we're like, hey, what the what the hell are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to talk to me like yo, that. Yo, it, it felt like a nigga moment, like where- Oh yeah. It where it was like that joke had pushed Will to the point of no return. Like, like he, he laughed, but then again, you know what I'm saying? like. Certain certain times where it's like, all right, I know this is going to be bad. I know this could be detrimental to my career and all this, but you're forcing my hand to actually react to this. Um, and unfortunately, it happened on screen, happened for the whole world to view it and all that. But like, it's usually once a nigga moment happens, it's like, what the hell did I just do? You know what I mean? Why did it just come over me? You know what I mean? Um, one, I appreciate that he like he just smacked him because like he, he had tremendous form if it was a closed fist he could have knocked chris rock out um or chris rock got an amazing jaw you know what i'm saying pause um where he <laughs> uh he, he he took the smack you know what i mean because like like if, if if will like all right because like we know certain things what it mean like if will bought up his fist he was trying to end him if he oh. smacked him he was sending a warning and uh, I the mean, warning but was, that's, he ain't back disrespect, But that's disrespectful for me to put my head, slap a man. Yes. When you slap a man, that's almost down there with spitting on a man. Nah, that's a level of nah. disrespect, dude. It is. To we got to fight. We got to nah. fight. Yeah. And, 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 and I agree with Will's point in 100% because, uh, again, there when especially you know usually black men we're not the dominant uh sex or race in any given field especially once we're at our peers of whites and things so the level he treated chris respect uh chris rock with the, the level of disrespect he treated him with that's totally personal because he's not doing that to tom hanks he's not doing that to the rock you know what i'm saying there's a lot of people he's not doing that uh, no like he did it because he felt that he was in a position and i and people try to 
I think it's more about class. He knows that his name is bigger than Chris Rock. He feel like he's he's a bigger mega star. He's more widely known, and he felt that he could do that to another black man and get away with it. Uh, no, but I why? Think it's all because assumption. he don't respect think, him. No, you you I, can't respect a man if you walk up and slap the hell out of him. I, in I this, in this like, size like, of the moment, bro, like it wasn't back like then. That, this was in front of the crowd. Mm-hmm. But like more or less, it's, it's like we we we're making assumptions. We don't know what like we don't know if they had a argument before the uh, what you call it uh, uh, the show where it's like yo you you're not protecting me no that much yet can say that shit. We don't know it could, if it was Tom Hanks. We don't know if that's you think about it like it was reports that that joke came off the cuff, right? Mm-hmm. Being totally honest, if Tom Hanks was up there, would he make a joke? about her head you know what i'm saying looking like gi jane that that it is highly implausible that he would do that. i mean you know but he's I mean? not a comedian that's what i'm saying you know what i mean so i mean if if, if dave chappelle or kevin hart or somebody was up there more more than likely maybe so i mean you sitting up there in the front the, the front row of course you're gonna get cracked on it don't matter who's sitting up there you sit up there to get a I mean, any it ain't bad publicity, good publicity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it somebody's talking about you, so it's good as a celebrity. When they stop talking about you, that's when you got a problem. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was just the level of disrespect, and I feel like with Chris Rock, I don't feel like he. I, I think what he should have did was real. Chris Rock should have came out. You know what I'm saying? He kept a professional. And it was almost like that chucking and jiving i was very disappointed in him you know what i'm saying just to kind of keep it going but i would have like so so i would i would but but man i would i would just really start cracking jokes on on him in out of my you put your little weirdo hands on me i would have went crazy on that dude every chance i touched that mic i would have said something about that dude well you didn't put your hands on him you didn't put your hands on him so you you're, you're preserved and there's so that you will antagonize even further, you know what I mean? Like you already made the man heated, whatever, right? Man, now, somebody now put their hands on you, the all bets are off. You put your freaking oh, hands on me, it's a problem. You put hands on we gotta shoot five. We gotta we gotta like yo, is it is once once the cameras go off and it's uh, commercial time, we gotta shoot the five. I don't mm. care if you you bigger, you you stronger, whatever. I don't care none of that. We gonna have to shoot the five. It comes down to respect level, you know what I mean? And like mm. It was almost like it was for Chris Rock. I know it was a lose lose situation for him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's going to be known as the guy that got smacked for the rest of his career. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And literally, he did a, a play by play in a moment like, yo, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. You know what I mean? But you're, like, you're, still, in de- you're still in disbelief. I'm pretty sure this man had his family there or watching. And think about all the memes. You got people like Snoop Dogg. Everybody just just posting this stuff. Everybody think that this is funny. It's not funny in the least. It's so disrespectful. You're gonna have people thinking that they as soon as my feelings get hurt, I can I can retaliate physically against a comedian because my feelings got hurt. I mean, no, this is this is a country, this is built we we built off of fundamental uh truths here. You can say what the fuck you want to say. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many times we yeah, sat you, there and somebody called us, uh, and how many shows had, until like almost recently was using the N word just constantly, and we just had to kind of put up with it. The, the F word for for homosexuals was not tolerated, but you could still tune in to hear some some dude call you a the N word. You know what I'm saying? It's not until recently that I stopped hearing it as much. You know what I'm saying? So but like you can hear, you can say, in, you can say whatever you want to say. That that, that is that right. But you're, what you're saying speech. that right. But what you're saying that you the, the threat the of repercussions. Right, we, yeah, we're not about to, that's a there. slippery slope. That's a slippery ass slope. But think about that though. Literally, when you coming up, whatever, right? You know the people to joke with and the people not to joke with. You know what I mean? It's more or less is like consequential consequences. Consequences uh, behind your actions, whatever, right? If you go capping with the wrong person, they got hands. Or like, say for instance, you uh, do a, a a dad joke, and you know what I'm saying that that person or mom joke, and he's sensitive about those people. You know what I mean? You can't you can't 
restrict the person on how they're gonna react. You know what I mean? Just because somebody else reacts a certain way. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like so, like when you make a joke, Will smacked him. Will sat down and uh, said, "Don't talk about my fucking wife again." You know what I mean? And Chris Rock placated him. You know what I mean? You don't know uh, uh, from there. You know what I'm saying? It was at the point of no return. Anything could have happened. I appreciate the professionalism of Chris Rock. You know what I'm saying? The show must go on. But who 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 is to say, like, you know what I'm saying? I go on the street, you know what I mean? And um I talked to somebody I ain't seen for like five years, and I mentioned something that is a sore spot, and they they smacked me, you know what I mean? And like I'm like, damn, I didn't know that was a sore spot, but you know what physical, I mean? Like physical violence will never no, that's never the answer. But yeah, to your point, that's, that's full hard. Word, that's full hard. No, unfortunately, it is the world you live in. Um, full on display as well, bro. This wrong place, wrong time. It, it would never be a right time to smack a man in the middle of the Oscars. I don't care but how I, bad. I, exactly. Bad. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. At the end of the day, no, Will was dead ass wrong. Um, oh yeah, he was wrong, but I understand. I can, you know, yeah, I get it. Your wife's you crushed my wife's feelings and hurt my ego. And I'm supposed to know you personally. You're supposed to know better. But I'm a comedian. I'm doing my damn job. So it's a lot. It's a slippery slope. Uh, the internet was calling for Chris Rock to throw, get out there and throw hands. And thank God he did not, because we just do not need that kind of representation. And on the Oscars, on the biggest stage. And to be honest, this was a crazy night for black folks and African Americans in general. As a lot of, uh, it was a lot of success for our, our for the culture. You know what I'm saying? So it's marred by what Will did. And, and and then ten minutes later, he wins the biggest award of the evening. So, I mean, that was just, I, it, it, for one thing. It'll probably go down as the most controversial Oscars of all time, and I'm fine with that. But as we unpack this thing more and more and more, uh, as a personal issue, I just I do think it was a lot of disrespect. But in the end, I think Chris Rock he's going to get applauded more than he's going to get lauded in the end because uh, I mean yeah I think as time progresses I mean everybody was laughing at this dude everywhere I looked they was laughing and saying Will did the right thing by physically assaulting this man for saying a joke that potentially hurt his, his wife's feelings and you know it was a small voice of people that were commending Chris Rock, you know, and it was it was kind of disheartening for like even Tiffany Haddish to say that w what Will did was 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 heroic when she's a comedian, you know. But she say what she say, somebody come up on stage say you hurt my feelings and then blow her shit out and it's acceptable. She's that's you that's very girl, slippery. That's very slippery. I don't want to put slippery, more. but like more or less, I think it's dealing with um, a class of people. Um, that feel very unprotected, and in turn, will. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit, man. No, it's real. It's real. I don't like, want to hear that shit. I don't. I don't want to hear this. I don't feel protected, bullshit. I really like, don't. seriously. They they feel like it's a certain uh, 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 class of people that are like yo. They they commend will because um, his actions was of action of protecting. You know what I mean? Like, yo, protecting honor, protecting family, protecting... Okay, well, she's woman. supposed to be protecting him. Every Fact. fucking chance Fact. she gets, she disrespect this fucking man. I mean, she out here showing her goddamn ass on YouTube, on, on the red table, and got him I, looking like a straight-up buffoon, and he's supposed to run to her rescue? These people again, are I mean, it's crazy, man. We don't know the dynamics of their relationship, but at we do know at the end of the day, this is his wife, and she does deserve a good level of protection. Now, to counter that argument, she got to protect him and say, what the hell are you doing? Sit your ass down and grab him when he starts going on stage. She probably saw the rage boil in his face before anybody else because she's been married to the man this whole time. Now, what they do on their own time, that's cool, but... There's still a man and a wife, and however the dynamics of their relationship goes, whatever. But I, now I'm gonna point, tell you something. Now, if Chris Rock had, if Chris Rock had to hold the shit out of him and said a uh, August Alcina joke directed at him, mm -hmm. I guarantee if that camera was on Jada Pickett's face, she would have laughed if it was directed at Will. And I no, see no. that. Now, I wanna, when you speak, I'm when not you gonna. Chris, I feel like oh, I feel yeah, like she would, man. 
She uh, hate that like, man, man. She nah, hate she, that man. She's jealous of that man in his position. That's, that's I feel like Boosie. Mean. I feel like Boosie right now. She hypnotized with hatred, man. She hmm. she hypnotized with hatred, buddy. I she hate on, that I, man. And I'll say this. I think he introduced a lot of that crazy stuff into their relationship. I won't say that she's totally at fault. We all know the rumors and how they get down in Hollywood. But I think that he introduced a lot of those things. And now she's getting into that stuff. And we perceive him as a victim. I don't believe that that, that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, honest will persona is real at all and if you believe that internet you crazy i believe that man is a monster behind the scenes oh my god the views and opinions expressed by i don't believe that man i don't believe that this guy's no saint you believe you believe he's a saint i don't I believe, believe it no one's a saint i believe no he's a i believe he's a, yeah, man. He's a freaking man with him. faults hey I, I, again he's, not, he's, he's not, right he, he's, he's and he's acting when he's in public I, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Yes, Will knows how to carry himself, but I'm not gonna. Go and he should have knew how to keep keep his shit together at that award ceremony. I mean, you were not he's gonna. A man, keep, though, he's a man. You Sometimes keep, you know, what I mean, you got a breaking point. Like mm -hmm. literally, like that was like. With I think Chris Rock was in the wrong place at the wrong time for a fresh. The that's trash. That Will was. I, 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 I don't condemn. I don't condone. Him smacking him at all. I'm just saying, just being realistic. Like, yo, sometimes gotta, shit happens. I, I understand the sentiment, but I got to disagree. This is literally like going and picking up the smallest kid in the school and smacking the hell out of him because you mad at what the bully said. Like, mm -hmm. hey, man, it, it, don't, it don't work that way. I don't. And, and again, to do it how he do Chris, how he did him on the biggest stage, on the biggest platform, knowing the ramifications, that was an ego driven thing by Will. And I'm disappointed by it. You know, and then to do it to Chris Rock, that leads me to ask, well, why don't people in the industry respect Chris Rock if if it came out like that? I don't know. These are things I don't know. It's Joe Blow over here. You know, good guy Sherm hosting the basement protagonist show. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know those questions. I won't perceive to assume on what's going on. But outside looking in, assuming you're at your company picnic Internet and your coworker of the same creed race or whatever walks up to you in the middle of you giving a speech and smacks you in front of all your coworkers, siblings brenda the assholes you don't like everybody no that's a certain level of hate and disrespect because and will has a power to end your career chris rock does not have that power he can't yeah. end nobody's career he's just a good negro that they they call upon to come crack a few negro jokes you know what I'm saying? He's nobody. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. Uh, he, uh, I, I mean, really, no, is he? I mean, is he? You know, so that, you're talking about the highest paid actor on the freaking planet. He's got this good guy persona that everybody believes, except for his family, and is driving his wife nuts that nobody sees it. And he's trying to keep this together for whatever reason. He's at the top of the mountain. He don't even need to be that persona no more. He don't need to do that no more. He's still the highest paid actor on the freaking planet. And I you got he just, he just reset a nobody. You, you smack somebody in public, you reset your persona. I don't think so. I don't think so. The the he public outcry and support that he got from celebrities, there's very few celebrities that openly disapprove no, you, you, of what he's what he did. Go. He, he's gonna get labeled a thug now and that's it You're, you know he's not done because will smith can absorb the hits and shout out to will smith because of that he don't even need hollywood mm -hmm. he can do his own thing but trust and believe a big sect of people are gonna label him thug from now on oh and, and i can guarantee a lot of those a lot of those actors in that crowd they might have stood up and applauded but they was on that phone with the academy like hey you gotta get you know what I'm saying? I can guarantee that they going they gonna to show public support, but then they're going to be like, hey, we got to we got to roll. We got to get this guy up out of here. This is not a good look. Hollywood's a, a, a dirty place. Well, I ain't going to say a dirty place, but a you know, fickle beast. The industry is a dirty game, you know? I don't know, man. There's so many things to unpack. I just, I'm just interested in how it all plays out because that was a hell of a night. We, we didn't even get. We couldn't even get to the fact Sam Jackson finally got off the Schneid internet. He finally got one. You know what I mean? Uh, I know Quest Love from the Roots got one. Obviously, Will even got the one for King Richard. 
I, it was just a remarkable night and i hate it got got marred in that so let's not lose, lose sight of that you know what i mean i mean just the steals and the pictures i just couldn't imagine doing my job and somebody coming and just could you imagine somebody slapping the taste out your damn mouth no no scrap. i mean just dude i just cannot i can't even wrap my mind around the level of disrespect man if good guy sure it might be to the death if yes got i couldn't moment. see straight it, it, yeah it's, it, it'd have been a whole negro moment you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, i'd have been banned they'd have been blackballed you'd have never heard from me again uh you know what i'm saying i would uh <laughs> what's my been man out on that know? chilling circuit huh I'll be in Dothan, Alabama, May 23rd. <laughs> oh, and, man. That's the biggest crowd right there. Shout out to Dothan, Alabama. Um, I don't know, man. It's a crazy night. I'm, 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 I know the internet's tired of hearing about it, but hey, we have to add our two cents in as the base protagonist crew. So. I really hope you uh, appreciate it. Will came off with some crazy opinions tonight. We're gonna have to deep dive more into this. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to unlock Pandora's box with that one. I can't get jiggy with it. <laughs> That's real. Well, obviously, Mr. Hand said to the face fresh, he's in favor of Will smacking fool. So I don't think I didn't say that, that, man. Cool. <laughs> I mean, this guy had perfect form, though, man. This guy, yeah, I felt right. like, I felt like, I felt like he laughed, looked over at Jada, like, "You better do something." She shot him that right. black woman energy, like, "You better do something." Well, and he know, got he up like, and he got up, he got up like, "What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do?" Oh, I know, I'm gonna slap him. Oh, yeah. And then he, then he went like this, and then like slapped him like old time, 1800s, like perfect slap. You know, he was about he did boxing, you know what I mean? For the Ali. Uh, so he he had perfect not, form, he moved his hips correctly, dude. yeah, followed through like literally. If, if, if it was a closed fist, I know Chris Rock saw down. lights. I saw he's, I know he saw the light. You know, you hit get hit so hard, you just see that white light and hear that ringing. I know, yeah. man, I know his face is on fire. It's the ringing you know, for me, Chris, right, you the know. black man, too, man. He he. He probably been in the fire as well, you know what I'm saying? Because like, literally, I, I think the dis he, it was almost like a deer in headlights when uh Will was approaching him. Mm. Like he was just standing there. Like I don't, I ain't see him getting in position to knuckle yeah, up. Yeah, because 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 it's like, not in his character to do what he did. He thought no, he's probably he probably coming up gonna, there. He, he thought he was in. He was going to um take the brunt of it. You know what I'm saying? I think like whatever whatever consequences was going to happen. Rock was prepared for it, you know what I mean? Like I thought he I probably he probably thought that he was gonna come up there on some silly Will Smith shit. I did too. And like he was not hand, uh, right, yeah. right, and, and grab his shoulder firmly and say some some corny fucking goofball shit that only Will Smith can get away with, and then take his ass and sit back down, and everybody would have loved him more for it. You know what I'm saying? That's nah, what Chris he Rock. He didn't he didn't think he was coming up there to blow his shit out. And, and and again, and, I, and and your point earlier, I do wish the producers would have let him let him go because he did freeze up and was like, I, I, you could tell he was about to let it rip. And the only way he could defend himself is with his words, I guess, in that moment. So I don't know. And there's a lot to pack in, man. Um, I don't want to vilify even one of those guys. I hope they don't take his award. Just keep it moving. Just keep it pushing. There's a stain on the award show, but it shouldn't be. At the end of the day, no, he needs to lose that shit. Period. No, he can't. Nah, ain't gonna make no man, difference. That, already man, won. No, I mean, I mean, what difference it. does it make anyway? He's at the what top of the up the pile anyway. It doesn't matter. No, so what do you care about the award? award. For what? Award. For his because acting. Because this is Richard. what he does. This is what he does. Will Smith needed that. He's been top tier black actor. His pretty much since he came out with Six Degrees of Separation. Love it or hate the movie. Um. But ever since he's held it down, he's never been in that category of, uh, what's it, Denzel or hell, even Jamie Foxx, uh, Halle Berry, you know. Forrest Whitaker. You know, you you got, hey, this is what I do. This is a big moment for him. Technically, and then he, he still he, get more money than all of them. That's what's crazy. He ain't never won everything. an award. We all know that. You know, I'm acting sometimes act. you want to be respected by your peers. Yeah. If I'm acting to act, I'm not doing it all the way for money. That's why actors are such 
quote unquote weird people. You know what I'm saying? They're and he could have knocked Chris Rock out on stage, and it would have been no ramifications. If he could have knocked, knocked him, him clean out. Been ramifications. Yeah, it wouldn't see that, him out. and that's that's why he went. With, that's why he went with the gentleman slap because anything worse. No, we're done. You, you might have went to jail. Remember, he went and sat back down. Technically, security should have escorted his ass right up out of there. But so clearly, it wasn't that big of a deal, or everyone was so much in shock. Now they didn't know what to wrong, do. Now where he went wrong was the little tirade that interrupted the show. Honestly, if he just sat down and didn't say nothing, he, I think it, this whole thing would have been blown over, and uh, nobody knew what that was. But with him blowing up like that, that kind of okay oh oh he's a black guy well a abm angry black man hold on and you know everybody's afraid of that but i don't know it was a wild night you know what i'm saying that's all i can say internets i hope you can add to the conversation um as always on the basement protagonist crew we can usually be reached or not usually always be reached on facebook uh instagram twitter it's on a scroll if you're watching us on youtube if you happen to be downloading us on spotify go ahead and give us a follow on facebook and instagram um shout out to our youtube people and subscribers go ahead and add to the comments because everybody's got something to say on this one i don't i don't even know if there's a right or a wrong answer but everybody's got an opinion so we're looking forward to hearing yours um and with that being said i'm gonna have wrap it up man because we can keep going all night on this it, it could go a lot of ways so um we're gonna shut it down for the evening Unless you guys got a little more to add, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm good. It's, 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 it's all context and nuance that, you know what I mean, the culture of black man being displayed. And, um, you know what I mean, unfortunately, it was a negative part of it. Well, I'm not a psychologist, but I definitely agree with that sentiment, Fresh. Uh, and at the end of the day, violence never solves anything. That's that's not true, but <laughs> I'm to say. yeah, uh, but in this, in this instance, violence wasn't the answer. OK, I'll, I'll say that much. This was the wrong time for violence. Um, but on that note, Internet, we'll get at you next time. Peace is the basement protagonist. Peace. Peace.